Hi everyone, let's begin how we can use Mandalay Reference Manager. Difference already I have shared with you. What is the difference between Mandalay Desktop and Mandalay Reference Manager? Now it is the latest version of Mandalay Reference Manager. This, it, this is the control panel that you have to look and how we are going to use, how we are creating folders, how we will import the research papers, how we can export the research papers, each and everything we would understand in this video. So first of all, when you will open this interface, it would be like this. On the right hand side corner, you can see Manly Reference Manager is written. File, there is file file export all let's say there is number of research papers you had included in your mandalay so you can export like with text file and note or rias right after this you can see edit cut copy paste you can do it tools here is directly install mandalay web importer suppose you do not using mandalay site for microsoft word so directly you can install Mendeley Web Importer and search for article online also you can search. So one by one, I'm going to use each and every tool. And here is, you can see all references. Suppose you want to see, you will click here, all references. Let me close this notebook. I am just closing this notebook. All references. So all references you can see in my, this Mendeley software all references i have put it here recently added now you want to see recently added these are recently added my research papers recently read these are my recently read research papers favorites favorites means those have you have been highlighted as star i'm just showing you let's say we will see suppose this is the paper Federated Learning for Healthcare Informatics. I would just highlight this paper. So that would add it in my favorite. You can see here. Let me check. Yes, this paper earlier, it was not here. And moment I had clicked it, now it is added here. For example, I just want to recently read paper. I just want to this particular paper, Shukla R. Right. So I just want to add it as a market as a favorite one so let me check my favorite article yes now you can see shukla r sen gupta article is also added in my favorite one now collections we come to the after this collections i am working on these two these two three papers like accident circular economy energy sem so moment i would create click here so only energy SEM related because at a time we are working on number of research papers or uh, I mean uh, in a serial order we are working on some research papers. So we have to create folders. So all those research papers related to that particular theme that would be segregated. So there is no need we, uh, we, we will find out all the research paper at a one place and we are segregating them. So there is no need. And uh, you can see here circular economy, this folder is empty. Why I had put it empty? I would like to show you how we have to add new papers. Accident, that is the folder. You can see number of the research papers are here. Now, suppose I want to create one more new folder here, collections. So let's say, I just want to show you how you have to import your directory import your research papers here so here is accident i'm just giving this number is accident one so there would not be any confusion already my existing folder and that is my new folder let me press enter so you can see accident one is here and automatically it would be in alphabetical order if your name is a so that would be on the upper side if your name of the folder is start from z that would be on the lower side so you can see here accident one. I want to import that folder is empty because just now I had created this folder here. So what I will do, I want to import because I have, I'm working on this particular, uh, particular research area. So I have a folder in my computer system, in my, this computer system, and I want to import all those downloaded research papers here. So what I will do, I will go there. 
here is you can see add new and import library here is you can see or here is you can see files from computer add entry manually i don't want to enter manually like i'm writing author name year title manually i don't i am not entering i want files from this computer so moment i had clicked you can see here accident analysis accident analysis dot pdf this folder is here let's say i want to select only that particular paper right open so this paper is added here you can see here yes you can see this paper is included in this folder accident one now what i will do suppose i don't want to add only one paper i here is how many papers i think more than 20 papers are here 20 25 papers so i want to add because all papers are important for my research so what i will do i will click all the papers and i will open here you can see here all the papers gradually they are updating importing to this folder from my computer system so in that way you can import all the research papers those are the relative relevant research papers you can import here so moment it will you can see uploading 19 files 17 files 69 percent 74 percent and moment it would be 100 percent means all the papers are included in this folder now i think we are reaching towards this 100 percent 100 percent fine so all the papers are uploaded total 42 files loaded in this folder so i can cross check also all these files let's begin now i want to let's say this example circular economy I want to import any paper not from this existing folder. I want something should be from web browser. So we will go to install Mendeley web importer, right? And you can see here, suppose I want to add to, here is add to Mendeley. And uh, you can see here, I want to add this particular file. First of all, you can you have to create over here is account. You will create this account, right? Reference manager already you have downloaded, right? And uh, Microsoft, I will I will I will tell you here is you're going to create an account first of all, and after that you can search here is uh, search here is from your library. So here is uh, search for your library. Let's say I want to search. Here is from my library, Ashulekha Gupta. Search. So these are uh, my papers. Those are in my, available in my Mendeley library. You can see view in library or other if they are not added. Let's say this is the one particular paper that i want to add to my library so i will simply click here add to my library and view in library so you can see here add to library and view in library because i have selected right so that is already in the all references that is already added right now suppose i want to import something not manually right here is manually also you can import your papers in this library one more important thing i just want to show you new collection new collection we had created groups groups means let's say i am working on this particular smart cities and one of my friend one of my co-author he is also working on this particular smart cities paper as a co-author with me so whatever paper he would found he can also adding in this folder and i can also add it and both of us we can see together right and at the one particular place we can accumulate all the papers so let's say i would like to show you how you're going to create smart cities let's say i'm working on me and my co-author let's say we are working on industry 4.0 create press enter 
and now you can see industry 4.0 folder is created now whatever the paper i would add it in this folder that would be he can also and i can share this folder with anyone manage group rename group delete group and all so i can share this this particular this particular folder with my whatever the groups i had created i can share one more thing here is you can see let's say notebook how this notebook will work on let's say notebook i just want to open my any paper recently i did not recently recently read this paper let's say i want to open this page so in my notebook i had created these two folders i mean whatever the new folder you want to you can write here new and now you can write it smart cities let's say you want to work on this enter sorry smart cities you can enter right so that notebook is created so whatever notes you want to put it here you can put in this folder right and uh, you can see here i would like to show you how you have to put uh, annotations and uh, let's say smart cities right and uh, back to all pages so now i would like to go for this uh, mind map i was working on this mind map so i just want to show how you have to use this notebook i'm just opening this paper and now you can see how we will work on this paper this paper is uploading you can see here this paper is uploading on the left hand side and uh, these are the some important notes i want in the in my notebook let's say because i'm reading that particular paper and i could not be able to uh, create note manually so what we can do these 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 notes we can create here so what we have to do multi dimensional perspective on electric vehicle design among i'm reading this paper this is my paper and with my one of the co author let's say i want to some notes from this particular paper so what i will do i want this particular paragraph this substitute field vehicles till here i want so what i will do i will highlight this particular paragraph or we can create sticky notes also right suppose i want to create a sticky note so i can write here i can write here uh, let's say i will use i'm just writing here i will use this 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 paragraph this paragraph this paragraph this paragraph an introduction part an introduction an introduction that's all we can put it here introduction spelling we can correct it in introduction so you can see here i want to see all these notes and i would highlight this also i want to you can see here whenever you have to open this folder that sticky note would be always there and that you can click here that would you can remember on you can highlight also you can highlight also sorry you can see here uh highlight also whatever control is there i will do it and any color you want to choose you can highlight it i had selected all, all those things that is why right and uh, suppose you want to highlight let's say this particular paragraph only till here so then you can click here and that would be highlighted and highlight color also you can change let's say i want to use this particular paragraph right and uh, you can highlight highlight and not by yellow color i want to that should be highlighted by red color highlight this so this color is changed as well as suppose i want annotations you can see here so it's good i will use this paragraph in introduction and all i said 
what you can do, you can use this particular paragraph. Right, this is the paragraph. And you can, you can see here is, I just want to control C and in my notebook, I would like to put this paragraph here. You can see here. You can see here. The ECM is used, whatever is the, no? whatever is the paragraph, ECM is used VNSW and you can put here your notes. And, uh, and uh, information, suppose you want to check of that particular paper. You can see here, what is the name of the journal? And abstract, tags, files, identifier, each and everything, you can get it here. Right? And uh, in this paragraph, we can paste it here. And suppose I want not copy and paste in that form. So what I can do, I'm just deleting this part. Now you can see this part I want to add in my notebook in my add to my notebook you can see here the same paragraph this one is the the various arguments this one is the i think ecm ecm part yes the ecm used in vms that is added in my notebook now let's say i want to use these two objectives what is the paper objectives right i want to use in my notebook so what will happen you can see here first of all let me highlight this highlight this and after that i want to add to notebook you can see here and all these things to identify the global trends both these things are added in my notebook then so that way you can prepare at a time when you are reading any paper and you can prepare your notes also here that would be available. So I'm sure uh, in this video we have talked about only notebook and how we can import rest of these things, how to export my data from this Mandalay to my desktop and as well as uh, we will discuss about how we are going to use, how we are going to use that particular part also what is this? This particular part we can see here. Tools install manly site for Microsoft Word. We will use in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.